So chapter two is focused on organizing the data. The first thing that we're gonna look at is 2.1, where we're dealing with frequency distributions, and so we need to define that. There's two types we'll look at. The first one is for categorical data, but the description of a frequency distribution is it really, it's just a table that's used to organize the data. Specifically for categorical data, determine the order to list the categories in, like what should be list first, should it be alphabetical or any sort of order? Then what we wanna do is total the number of occurrences for each category and count that as our frequency. For categorical data, this is really just for nominal and ordinal data. So imagine, or consider this table that's listed down below. My directions are to create a frequency distribution. It doesn't say categorical, but that's this type of data I'm given. And so what ends up happening here is first thing I wanna do is make my first column, which I'm gonna list the different types of courses going down the left side. In terms of what order I want to use, I'm just going to do them in the order that they're given. So I'm just going to kind of read down each column, or if you look at it, there's really three sections of data because each student lists the courses they're taking. So as I start this out, you know, the first course I see is biology, and then I want to have a tally of how many biology classes I've seen, so one so far. Next is English, and there's one of those. Psychology, and there's one of those, an English, a math, and as I'm going by, I'm just kind of counting each category. So when I saw a repeating course like English or math, I just added that to my tally. So then the next thing I'm ready to do is to create the frequency portion where I'm just listing the totals. And maybe you don't even make a frequency category. You just write biology and look through the list and they only occurred once. Write English, look through the list, it occurred three times, and you can bypass that middle column altogether. 